successful wood wharf will mean the ongoing evolution and development of the Canary Wharf estate. From the school we've got in H2 to the GP surgery going to H3 and then it's trying to make it evolve and become more of a kind of well-rounded estate. Over a um, hundred different firms of designers all working to different programs, different buildings um, and it's really bringing that together as, as a jigsaw to make it all flow together. That's, that's, that's the biggest challenge of Wood Wolf. As a company, trying to find the best way to do things is in our DNA. 3D Repo offers transparency to help the client see what is going on in their very complex projects. It brings all the information together in a very easy and coherent way in the cloud and allows even non-CAD users access to information. It's certainly rewarding to have been involved in developing a new district in London, knowing that people's lives will be shaped by the work that we've done. Canary Wharf are renowned for delivering quality projects and this will be no exception. Wood Wharf is a 23 acre development situated at the east end of Canary Wharf. Uh, it started in February 2015 and has about a decade long programme. One of the key challenges is really about placemaking. So it's bringing together different uses um, in a way that knits together. Well, Wood Wharf would just be an extension of the existing estate. It's a whole new city within a city, for want of a better term. It is creating the right development and the right location with lots of integrated uses. You can go to school, you go to work, you go to live, you go to eat, you go to drink, and it'll have a really nice waterside feel to it. It is semi-derelict, British Waterways owned it. It had some low-grade offices, it was part of used as a storage facility, and there was a nursery on site as well. It was fundamentally run down. In 2016, we installed a uh, sheet pile combi wall, which uh, capped the silt layer uh, that was existing in the dock. We brought a barge in, in fact, it was the largest barge that we've had in the dock since it was a working dock. We discharged 7,500 tonnes of uh, gravel in one sitting, and then the boat turned round, went back around the south side of the Isle of Wight, came back again. That capped the silt layer off, and then we discharged all, all the water back into the dock from the other side. Uh, that was about 57 million litres over a week. And then two guys called Shane and Vaughan went fishing for four days, caught all the fish, put them on the other side, and then we completed the rest of the dewatering. We've got approximately 5 million square feet of, of development to do. Um, phase one has got 12 individual buildings, uh, ranging from 12 to 57 storeys in height. We have got 1,600 uh, new homes to deliver as part of phase one, out of a total of about 3,500. 2.8 million square feet of office accommodation, half a million square feet of retail, eight acres of public space, as well as complex energy infrastructure. The particular challenge of Wood Wharf is how we bring all of the different workflows together number of large towers being sprung up from the same common basement. So all of the buildings share the same utilities, which makes it extremely complex and interesting project at the same time. On the coordination front, it's been overlaying parcel buildings landing into the infrastructure basement, which, uh, which means you've doubled the amount of people you're trying to communicate with. We've got two architects suddenly, we've got two mechanical and electrical service engineers. So we've also doubled the number of contractors that are working in the same area. That's where we've had most, uh, I won't call them issues, because we've solved them, but we've had to spend a lot of attention making that coordination work. Uh, we're always keen to support in innovation through the work that we're doing, and we can always see there's always a better way of doing things. So we're always looking and hoping for someone to come and show us something that would help us. I first met 3D Repo in a startup competition set by Canary Wharf Group. They knew nothing about construction, I still know nothing about computers. But putting their expertise of computers with my team's expertise in construction and design management, we're coming up with a tool which is certainly benefiting us at the moment and hopefully will go on to benefit others. Before I graduated from my doctoral research that was sponsored by Barup uh, at the University College London, I already established a limited company, 3D Repo. Uh, we were invited to join the incubator run by Level 39 in Canary Wharf. That was back in 2015. Throughout the incubator, we won the virtual design and construction phase. 3D Repo is a design 
coordination platform. It allows us to make notes and communicate those notes throughout the design team. Looking at the 3D model in 3D Reaper before a meeting, I can set an agenda. Through the meeting, I can do the minutes. After the meeting, each person is clear what, what task they have to do to try and clear all the design issues off the 3D Repo platform. Because 3D Repo won the incubator by Kennedy Wolf Group, Woodworld was the very first project that started fully utilising 3D Repo. The natural flow of design tends to make people want to use the model in different ways at different times. Um, so where 3D Repo helps is understand what's really what's going on in detail, making sure we don't lose sight of clashes and, and allowing the team to concentrate their efforts in, into really where it's going to have the biggest impact. Since Woodworth is such a complicated project and such a multi-party uh, undertaking, 3D Repo enables asynchronous collaboration. That means the different companies can log into the online platform access the data as and when they need, and they can very easily communicate with the other parties without the need to exchange any more emails or written notes. Any issue I raise or any other person in the team raises is available to anyone else in the team. You um, drive around or walk through the model, you'll see the pins in the model, you can click them, it will take you to the description of the issue, allowing you to talk on top of that issue, to add your comment, have, have your say. So we're allowing full, open discussion. So it's a high level of collaboration, certainly communication and coordination is the three C's. If you compare 3D Repo to traditional ways of working, uh, we provide an online platform. So our users don't need to install any new software anymore. They can very easily connect through the web browser. They have uh, immediate access to the latest information and the latest models, the latest federations of 3D data coming from different consultants and contractors. The cooling towers are integral to the chilled water system, which is providing chilled water to the entire development. Therefore, their location being on top of the, one of the taller buildings, the complexities came in that we had to get them done quick, we had to be efficient so we can install them and commission the chilled water system to make sure everything is ready for the occupants to move in at the end of 2019. The cooling tower is an um, extremely complex uh, piece of design especially due to the size of space restrictions on site. And 3D Repo enabled to bring all of these uh, different disciplines together in a very easy manner so that each party could see where the clashes and potential design problems would be and they were able to resolve them in the cloud very, very easily. Using 3D Repo in the cooling tower compound allowed a, a level of transparency where everyone was aware of what everyone else was doing there was, there was no lost emails because we're not emailing anything anymore and there was no ambiguity related to any of the issues or tasks which were, were being set. Coordination on site was, so far it's gone very well. We, we've, we even identified a minor clash between installation which was, has been agreed through the design team. So, and we've just been up on site and just seen that clash on site. So well, it's not, it's a soft clash. <laughs> we don't have clashes anymore. Being a small startup enabled us to work very closely with our customers and being able to listen to their needs and very quickly iterate new features into the software, which gives us massive advantage over established vendors. Our job is really to create the conditions for the designers to succeed. In, in terms of um, technology um, and, and BIM and 3D Repo, it's, it's creating a, a collaboration platform um, to allow the team to, to work together and to collaborate and, and to, to work efficiently. Project managers live to have their projects delivered and they want to be known for the ones who do it safely on time, on budget and have the best wow factor. That kick of getting a project delivered will never change. If you pass that enthusiasm for what you do onto the guys then you won't go far wrong. Well, once the district is complete it would be nice to see all the work and the drawings and the, all the stuff that I see, the 3D models, all coming into to one and being a, the finished article. Throughout the years we've been extremely proud to see the technology that was developed as a student project at the university to be utilised in one of the most famous districts in London. Mm -hmm.